in the last video we have talked about the structure of the anther and we have studied all the four layers which are surrounding the anther and the innermost layer which was very much important that was known as the tapetum and in that video i have said you that the tapetum is not only having the nutritive function but the tapetum is having many other roles also so let's discuss what are the other roles or what are the other functions of the tapetum number 1 secretion of pollen kit substances secretion of pollen kit substances is done by the tapetum now tapetum forms the pollen kit now uh, uh, the pollen kit is what where it is present so pollen kit is secreted by the tapetum it is clear now pollen kit is outermost oily pollen kit is outermost oily thick viscous sticky and homogeneous coating of the pollen grain of many insect pollinated plants means the pollen kit which is secreted by the tapetum is found around the pollen grains of insect pollinated plants it is found outside the axine also okay and it is oily layer it is thick it is viscous it is and it is homogeneous okay and this pollen kit is composed of especially the lipids and the carotenoids it is made up of lipids and carotenoids and now the question arises that what is the function of the pollen kit in the insect pollinated plants so this pollen kit which is found around the pollen grains protects the pollen grains against harmful uv radiations it protects the pollen grain against harmful uv radiations now pollen kit is a sticky nature we know very well that pollen kit is sticky nature due to the sticky nature of the pollen kit the pollen grain attached to the bodies of insect and thus it helps in pollination now we know very well that uh, the insect pollinated flowers are pollinated by the insects so as soon as some insect comes right to the flower to suck the nectar during that episode what happens that due to the stickiness of the pollen kit the pollen grain attaches to the chest region of the insect and if the same insect will go and suck the nectar of another flower during that act what will happen pollination will happen so the pollen kit is having a great role in the pollination it also acts as a insect attractant this pollen kit because of the pollen kit the insects are attracted and definitely when the insects will be attracted towards the flower then it will again help in pollination okay so this pollen kit is secreted by the tapetum and it is found around the pollen grains of insect pollinated uh, flowers okay now ubish bodies now this is very very important one that what are ubish bodies you must know ubish bodies are also formed by the tapetum only now before disintegration of the tapetum before the disintegration before the disintegration of the tapetum cells they form they form special granules in their cytoplasm and these granules are called as pro ubish bodies are you getting before the tapetum cell disintegrates in their cytoplasm they produce special granule like structures called as pro ubish bodies and here they are surrounded by the sporopodin these pro ubish bodies are then surrounded by the sporopodin now when the pro ubish body gets surrounded by sporopodin then the name of the pro ubish body is changed and it is now called as and it is now called as ubish body it is now called as ubish body now what happens at the last at last the tapetum degenerates at last what will happen at last the tapetum will degenerate and because of the disintegration because of the disintegration of the tapetum what will happen these ubish bodies are released in the pollen sacs because pollen sac is surrounded by tapetum so when the tapetum cells will degenerate now so what will happen these ubish bodies are released in the pollen sac and 
in the pollen sac what are present pollen grains are present so these ubiquitous bodies participate in the formation of the outer covering that is known as the axine of the pollen grain right so what will happen when these uh, ubiquitous bodies are released in the uh, pollen sac what will happen these ubiquitous bodies will participate in the formation of the outer covering known as the axine of the pollen grains remember this thing that in microsporangium what are filled microspores are filled and it is clearly indicated in the ncert that when microspores get surrounded when microspores get surrounded by the axine which is made up of sporopollen then that microspore is called as what the pollen grain okay so ubiquitous bodies are secreted by the tapetum fine third one calyx and chain if you have heard about the microsporogenesis then we know very well that formation of the microspore from the microspore mother cell is called as microsporogenesis and during microsporogenesis four microspores are formed and when they are formed that all four microspores are held together and that is called as microspore tetrad fine and the pollen grains or the microspores which are held together in a tetrad are just in just because of the callose because of the callose but very soon what happens that the tapetum release the callase enzyme tapetum release the callase enzyme which dissolves the callose which dissolves the callose because of which the tetrad will disintegrate and the four microspores of the tetrad will become separate okay so callase enzyme tapetum secretes callase enzyme which is having the power to dissolve the callo substances by which the four pollen grains of a tetrad were united hence separating microspores or pollens of a tetrad means the callase enzyme will dissolve the callos because of which the four pollen grains found in a tetrad will become separate so this important enzyme callase is secreted by the tapetum so secretion of the pollen kit ubiquitous bodies and callase enzyme is also done by the tapetum and this uh, role it is well known i have discussed in the previous video also that it gives nutrition to the developing microspore and because of this role the tapetum is always called as that it is a nutritive layer why because it gives nutrition to the developing microspores or the pollen grains and it also secretes uh, substances secrete it also secretes uh, uh, substances of hormonal age it also secretes substances it also secretes substances of hormonal nature so these are some important functions of the tapetum okay uh, in the next video we will be dealing with the two types of the tapetum one is the amoeboid tapetum and another is the secretory tapetum so keep watching thanks a lot